She's one shot. We're back finally after what two weeks gone? Too long. Too long, Too long. weeks. Long. It uh, well, I sh I'll show you my shirt. Oh wait, I gotta fix the screen. I, you know, it's not my it's not my stream if things don't go horribly wrong at least once. Let's check it out. Happy little trees from Blue Ridge. This is where I was the first oh, week really? that we didn't stream because um, Littlest talked me into going on the uh, the field trip, fifth grade field trip to Blue Ridge. Recreational oh, yeah. Outdoor Center. I don't know. Whatever that says on there. Uh, outdoor. They secretly, they secretly went Bigfoot hunting. They did. Actually, um, we we played a game of Predator Prey on the last day. So that meant two and a half hours of a bus ride back, stinky and sweaty and wet because it rained. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, nice. Basically camping with a bunch of fifth graders. So we... <laughs> when I was in the fifth grade, we went camping and... This was the second time we went camping. They went to try something new. Last time, the, the year before, it had been in like proper like cabins. Yeah. But this year, they went to try something new. So they, uh. we we all slept in huge teepees, like ten wow. foot tall, ten foot tall, twelve foot wide teepees. Except the one I was in was on a little bit of a slope and not properly <laughs> avoiding the water. So when it rained, oh, yeah. everything went down one side of the teepee, yeah. which was the same side I was on. I was going to say, you were probably not on the high side of that. Oh, no. You know, fun memories. Helen, if I didn't get soaking wet. <laughs> That's right. Uh, yeah, camping is not one of my favorite things. Uh, but we did. We had a, a mile and a half hike up a hill. It's a very steep hill. In fact, there were two ways to go, steep or steeper, and we took the steeper one. And some rock climbing in that. And then uh, another mile and a half back down again. But it was beautiful, I have to admit. It was beautiful. So that's where we were the first week. And then uh, last week, I, I just... I had a, I just had a mental, I needed a mental break with going on with uh, everything with uh, what's happening in the world. And I just, I just needed to step back. So I appreciate your um, patience with me, Joe, on that. Um, but I have some exciting, fun stuff coming up, as you saw probably at the very beginning before we were uh, intro. Um, the D&D with the Banana Brothers on not next week, but the week after, uh, we were on spring break. Now we were going to all meet together in sunny Florida at uh, Tranquil's Farmhouse Lair, is what he calls it, and play a in-person live game of Dungeons and Dragons. This is, I would have, I was gonna DM D&D with the Banana Brothers for one session, but that the rest of that week, we were just gonna play D&D all week. And this is my chance to actually get to play, but uh, that had to be canceled. Just the in-person part. However, we are still getting together on the stream on the 7th for d d with the Banana Brothers Spring Break episode. And you can play along with the game where we have prizes and all sorts of fun uh, playing Banana Bingo. And here's the cards. Uh, you can't really see them very well on the screen. But basically, if you want, it's free to enter. Just let me know if you want one of these unique Banana Bingo cards. And we are going to have uh, some Die Hard Dice. Uh, Joe, the mini. I'll finally give away the mini. Hey! Yeah, that you painted. Beautiful mini. It's over. Where is it? I had it. It'll only have half a ton of dust on it. Yeah, it only has a little bit of dust on it. I'm kidding. I dust it all the time. Um, so if you want one, just let me know. And I only have 30 to give away. So um, we'll have... I don't know where to give away 30 prizes, but we'll give away as many. But they have things on there like... If you watch the Banana Brothers, uh, well, first of all, the middle part's the free banana. You know how you always get that free middle one? Um, but if they have a critical fail or a critical roll, those are on there, of course. But if they have, if they uh -huh. mention, was that? Only on there once. Those are only on there once, right? Because we'd once. be just yeah. Up there. yeah, otherwise it'd just be bingo, bingo, bingo. Um, if they mention, um, if they check the map of Ammonrath, if they check the map, like the physical map that they have in their hands, that counts as a bingo, or counts as a, you know, mark. Um, if Ukokna lights a fire, that counts. You know, a bunch of those, bunch of those things. 
But they're all, all of them are unique. It's a really cool program I found online. Anyway. Some of those say win. Win. Win, not if. They right. light a <laughs> bonus points if one of them lights a fire on themselves. Uh, you know, we should probably give a double bingo for that. You're right. That would be a funny one. But, uh, tell uh, me there's a square for an impromptu song. Uh, Beaufort sings a song. Yeah. 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 He sang, he, in fact, he sang such a good song last two days ago that um the youtube video i put up was um flagged as with copyright material wow but i disputed it because it's an obvious parody and i used my best paralegal language to let them know that you know the length of time and the parody parts of it was uh, represented fair use and you know i'm not a lawyer yeah. but i can kind of speak lawyerese so hopefully that'll go through. It, it, if it doesn't, it doesn't matter because it doesn't affect our channel at all. But, you know, I thought, hey, you know, he sang it and played it so well on his guitar that it got flagged. So I was like, hey, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah that's a pretty nice feather in his cap. I know, right? He sounds just like Johnny Cash. Not really. So uh, speaking of Banner Brothers, a recap real quick. I won't go into it. They're back on the boat. I won't go into it too much. But they're back on the boat. Met some uh, new drow. Do you say drow or dro? How do you how, how do you pronounce the dark drow? Drow. I thought that's how I do it too. They met some new drow friends because they weren't sure if they were a friend or foe. But by the end, I think they realized they're foes because they were uh, darkness overcame them in the middle of the afternoon uh, below deck and they were attacked. And Milan, unfortunately, crumbled unconscious after the first uh -oh. strike. I rolled a critical roll uh, on the uh -oh. attack. Yeah. So, um, Rylan wasn't able to make it, but he's going to be able to join us next, next Tuesday as Milan. But what's hysterical is will be, this will mark the second time that Rylan has joined us, uh, only to play an unconscious character <laughs> and roll death saves on his very first turn. Well, I mean, he is rolling dice and he's a part. He's, he's a part a of it. That's right. So, okay. So let's get started. We're going to actually continue what we started two weeks ago, which is, um, Snivel Bifflins. Yeah, really. they're Snig. Snig. I'll, I'll pull it up. How about that? They're Snig. Snil. And this was, I think, Game Master. Didn't Game Master come up with these? The mm -hmm. Sniggil yep. Billins. It's a play on the word goblin, but also he told us that the Sniggil is Icelandic for slug because other people call them mud slugs or something. I don't know. That's just what we, we were joking about that. So we changed it to Snig Gilblin and they're goblinoid type creatures. And I was talking to Joe earlier. Uh, I still plan to run some of these one shots as specials throughout the year, but I didn't have anything that was level four to six. I have lots that are levels one to three and a couple that are level seven to nine, but nothing in the four to six range. So I thought, you know what? We've made these challenge rating twos. So why don't we make just a whole city of them that uh, that the players have to defeat, level four to six players have to defeat. And then I thought, well, they need a city to, de to defend or take over. And then we decided that, let me pull the map up again. At the very Southern part of Veth, this whole area down here, can you see my cursor? Yeah. Um, it's unexplored completely. This whole area down here is, um, tropical, sort of, sort of like a swamp, uh, not swamp, but you know, like Gilligan's Island. Imagine that oh, okay. area down there. And I thought, why don't we just put an old human settlement down there that has been abandoned and, you know, all of a sudden all mystery abounds. What's happening? What happened years and years ago in this human settlement? And, um, and have these Snigilblins uh, emerge from the sea because we made them aquatic, uh, both land and water breathable, um, and climb and discover this abandoned city, town, whatever, and find something in the ruins, and like, a, like an old alchemist shop or something, and start brewing something. So I like it. Yeah. So let me, I, I went to Incarnate, love that site. And I, I built, I built this little map here. Not really a map, it's more like a picture of the Southern Veth area of where the docks are. I put an abandoned ship on there, some old abandoned houses and- Using, using Incarnate. Incarnate, yeah. And so I wanted to give a shout out real quick to Incarnate. Um, 
And Joe said that was okay with him, so I always do what Joe says. And do, do you? I oh. do. I do. Um, and so I made Southern Vef there, but I wanted to show you what else, uh, else I do with Incarnate real quick. Um, I started out making um, very simple ones, and this one is kind of funny because um, I used pre-existing maps from my memory. And this one, believe it or not, is the Hills of Kanos from EverQuest. <laughs> and I renamed stuff just because it was funny. So I've got um, the, the Hills of Cassione. I don't know. I was being silly. Uh, instead of Blackboro, I put Bleakboro and West Arachna, Ar Aranka instead of West Ar the West Karanas. Uh, uh, Thorn Cassone instead of North Kanos. And I just had fun kind of making this little map. And that's where I started year, uh, two years ago making these maps. And it, it slowly changed to, let's go back, back to my maps, making some more detailed maps, including, of course, the, lap, the map of Amonrath. Um, I created... Quickly, someone go get raining. He's waiting in the foyer by the bureau with his Legos. With his Legos. Hey, Rainick. You, you, you heard... EverQuest, and that's why you tuned in, didn't you? I was I was just showing everybody um, that I made. Uh, I'll pull it up again real quick. I, I was. <laughs> now we can begin. Um. So uh, yeah, maybe. So there's the hills of Kanos I made um, long ago on Incarnate. Um, but then I started making ones, and I love this one. This is the. This is the one I made for the Drowned and the Damned, which is the one of the episodes that we made here, right, Joe? A couple weeks ago. Yes, and it's awesome. I had so much fun making this. This is kind of blown up a little bit to show more detail. This is on the southern edge of of Stonebridge, but see this darkened area at the bottom here that I made. I also made a close up of that right here. Of course, no, it's not. There we go. Siren's Folly, and I, I created this, and I just, I love it. I love the assets. I love all the new things that they've put in it, so I put it at the bottom of the ocean and decided that was called Siren's Folly, and that's that's what our Drowned and the Damned, that's where it takes place. So I just wanted to show you that. Give a quick shout out to Incarnate. I do uh, have the pro version, which gives me a lot more uh, graphics and uh, editing features, so, um, and that's why I'm allowed to use it in uh, in commercially, I can use this to in my in my D and D campaigns or print out maps or whatever I want to with it. So that's kind of cool having that pro version, and uh, I get that through the support of my patrons. So thanks, patrons. All right, so yeah, let's get thanks, back. Patron. Yeah, like Joe and Rainick, they're both here and, and they're both Rainick. patrons. And I saw someone in chat earlier, but I don't know if they're still there. But they're a patron too. Okay, so trouble brewing. We created this. We created the character characters of the Snigil Blinds two weeks ago, and uh, we only created the character. We used D&D &D Beyond, and we never actually wrote anything. See, I've just got the map <laughs> and the title. So we can now, we can go, we can just run with it, right? Yes. All right. So we need to come up with... Although, although I'm really a big fan of the big bad evil guy being just called Lorem Ipsum now, now that I've seen Lorem Ipsum. <laughs> You could tell that I uh, I used to do a lot of uh, legal writing and stuff. <laughs> you fill in the blanks with Laura Mipsum. <laughs> yeah. I should make a Laura Mipsum. That'd be funny. And you see, I've got my other... When I format these things, I kept I kept them on the page. So I've got a little fun snippet box and a little another box of stuff. And <laughs> yeah. Okay. All, so, about, all about good old Laura Mipsum. Laura, you know what? Let's make that our, our protagonist, shall we? Lorem Ipsum. What what is Lorem Ipsum? He she is a what? <laughs> oh, let's let's let's, have, let's make them be. You know what we haven't done in a long time. Let's let's have them be like real exotic, like a oh. like a tiefling or dragonborn or I say real exotic. I mean they're in the they're in the PHB. Yes, let's make them tieflings, and I'll tell you why. Because on my map, I'll bring up bring up the map real quick. The dragonborn are right here in Tal Melitris, right here in the, uh, I don't know if you can see the mouse. That's where they're kind of from, and they're a small community. But the tieflings are down here near Mixbury. That's where Ukokna is from. And it makes sense that it would be right near there map-wise. So we'll do tieflings. They're just everywhere. Well, in my world, there aren't a, they aren't as common as some of the other ones, but yeah. Amon Ranth is just 
Lousy with tieflings. <laughs> Lousy with tieflings. I think Unkogda's the only one I've I've seen in the game so far. Uh, if anything, they're lousy with Furbolg at this time because I think uh, uh, Daros has invented all sorts of Furbolg now all over the world, so I don't know. <laughs> so, alright, so uh, Lorem Ipsum is a tiefling what? He's, hmm. he's the big bad, right? Yeah. Uh, is he the big bad or is he the protagonist? Is oh, he, I'm the sorry. Antagonist he's, the pro he's the good guy. He's, okay. You're right. He's a t Why is it coming up incorrect? I need to add that to my dictionary. Um, did I spell that right? No, I didn't. So I spelled a tie fling. That's why it was miscorrect. That no, was correct. I think that's what happens when a tie fighter gets thrown by the fort. Tie fling. Spell it for me. T. Uh oh. Yeah. See. I don't think it's T E I. Oh, maybe it is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I have to look it up. Let's go to D and D Beyond. I'll look it up. Well, wait, wait a minute. Where is the? I'm just gonna go over it here is. to it's our handy dandy. Ha! It's Tiefling. That was correct. Well, there's something well, called a Tiefling mur muralist. That just sounds like a fancy word for artist. I know. Let's look it up. I like this dark devotion. Oh, it's an infernal. And I thought I had all of these. How come I don't have this one? Well, that just chaps my hide. I need to buy this. Uh oh. You're gonna need chapstick. I know, right? See, I have a lot, a shit ton of uh, chapstick. See how, see how I have a discount there? Oh, on the, on the thing, yeah, on the. Uh... It's because I have the legendary bundle. My husband is is amazing. He bought it for me for well, my birthday. Well, That's here's, why I have a here's, discount. here's my thinking. If they're gonna be a teeth thing, which does it's fine, it doesn't really it doesn't make any difference one way or the other. Um, the class though, I think should be one that reflects the the reason for being way out here in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I right? see what you're saying. So don't go with like, Tiefling, go with something else that would be out No, 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 go with Tiefling. Okay. Yeah, Tiefling, okay. absolutely go with. Okay. You can go with any race, but the class. Oh, I see, okay. Should be like, I don't know, you go really weird. Tell me. And do something like Arcanist or, 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 hmm. Something that would lend itself to exploring. I mean, like first first thing that comes to mind is a ranger, because like they would they would have reason to be out there. Yeah, like any but any hermit background would would, would yeah, put him out but, there. But like a monk could go out there on sabbatical. Oh um, oh 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 oh! I I, I just thought of something. Okay, <laughs> tell me. We have... it looks. It sounds like it's got to get out. It does. It has to get out. Um, tabaxi, we. The, the Tranquil of Rial is a tabaxi monk uh, uh, village. Okay. Yeah, make them tabaxis. And that's make right there. That's even better than... Yeah. That's, they don't even have to cross a body of water. That's even better than tiefling. It's nice when things work together. I know. We're, we're just an amazing team, Joe, I have to tell you. All right, it's a tabaxi uh, monk, you said? Yeah, that, that would lend... Because then they could be like on sabbatical yeah. from tabaxi land. And... <laughs> <laughs> tabaxi land okay tabaxi monk um and they've come to this village for what purpose they've come to southern veth for what reason uh they've probably come like this is part of their training because we're like we're like we're doing this four to six right Correct. So let's assume let's, let's assume that the tabaxi is level five, just for the purposes sure. of conversation. Okay. And maybe in the monastery, like around level five, is when you have to um, go away. Like you have to go and and complete this sabbatical that we've been talking about. Like call it something like sort of like Helith Aramente, but call it something else that monks have to do. Okay, hold on. Let's look it up. They have to do... They're not schools. What are they called? Yeah, you're uh, right. Let's look at that. There's disciplines. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You sound like my daughter. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let's oh, it's a way. It's the way. Ooh, they must find the way. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he's doing. Like, like, and that's maybe that, like, 
to our heroes. That's the only way that this tabaxi describes it is, I have come here to find the way. And, the, and, the, and like the, the hero's like, okay, well, what the heck does that mean? <laughs> That's his word. And that voice, they have to have that voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the tabaxi is always like very high-minded, you know, uh, you know, like very in, like into themselves, not like, like, not, not like, not like a, a, a self-important, just like they're very inwardly focused and yes, but they keep saying words yeah. that have no context to the heroes. Right. right, I like that. So he's not, he's not full of himself, which I can't think of that word either. What is it called when you're full of yourself? Self-absorbed. Yeah, he's more uh, just very introverted. Yeah, but not is he shy? Or no, I or... wouldn't. I wouldn't say shy. Like. But he's very like, uh, introspective. Yeah, 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 yeah. We like big words here. <laughs> I we may not know lie. what they are. <laughs> may not know what they are, but we really like saying them. Okay, so uh, so he uh, must. I made it a guy. I made it a male character. This, sure. this monk. I decided. Um, he must find. Uh, what is he in search of? He's looking for his way, but why did he come to this abandoned seaside town in uh, in Southern uh, Beth? I would like to think that he came out here not knowing this town was here. Like, oh, okay, and discovered it. Yeah. Okay. I'm just like, well, since I'm here, I might as well go on and do my sabbatical. I might as well look for the way while I'm okay. here. And, you know, like, okay, maybe I don't have to sleep <laughs> in the rain. Yeah, that would be good nice call. for yeah, me. As a cat, yeah. As a cat, feline, uh, variety character. So he must. We don't know what he's gonna must do. Uh, does he discover Southern Veth and uh, uses the uh, the? It's, it's more like a town. It's it's larger than a village. Because that whole area in 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 that Southern Amenrath area in Coventh has not been like I haven't opened it up at all. As I've gotten as far south uh, in that middle section as the Tranquil of Real. And then over in the uh, northeast or southeast side is where uh, Mixedberry, where the tieflings are. So this this section here is unexplored. So we could add whatever we want to it. That's the whole idea. So we don't even have to call it Southern Veth. It's just what I'm using as a, Veth is like the region of the goblins. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't. I mean, we can put cities and stuff there, etc. So he discovers Southern Veth and uses the town as. Um, as a camp as a campsite or what he uh it's like a campground yeah like like maybe when he gets there he's thoroughly uninterested with the town right he's just using it for like, cover yeah he's like just staying in like of the ruins on the very edge of town yeah um but so we need to come shelter. up with why our, we need to come up with why our heroes would be there yes uh so, yes so what if what if um the other tabaxis sent them to look for him because he's not back from searching yeah and the reason like... why he's not back well the tabaxi according to the story of Amonrat, the tabaxi monks are from the tranquil of real area are very um private they wouldn't call for exterior help they'd have to be it had to be a party of tabaxis that would go out and oh search. okay but if you look at the map we could have some we could have a ship that a sailing ship uh either in the Anvar expanse or in fire lake that has gone or even even well mixberry is mostly tieflings so there'd have to be a party of tieflings well um, it, it, they could just be like like sailing past you know like maybe they yeah. decided to go around it and you yeah. know and get shipwrecked well but then it would be a whole shipload of people well no not shipwrecked just like um like as as the right so what's that uh what's the town all the way to the right there um on the peninsula next to the firelands what's that? oh that's Faru's rod and that's goblins okay but um but Greymouth point right here is a un what do you call it when it's like un uh it's it's not it's not really governed by either Sara or Covent it's oh like a like a city state like a, a city state exactly it's mostly humans um they they have a very corrupt uh constabulary 
Um, the Rogues Gallows is there. A lot of rogues and pirates worked out of that cove area. Uh, Moldy Nut, well, of course. So what if someone from there uh, was talking about how all I heard there's, there's all these riches and all these this 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 historical significance down here at the on the peninsula? And he like shows them on the maps. Like, yeah. We've never been. So hey, why don't you, it, then it just it, it just like on the surface on the surface it's just a uh, treasure hunting mission. Oh, you know, like, perfect. I, I know where there should be some treasure. Right. Well, it's me. I'm not gonna go. So you you heroes go. You just have to bring me back. You know, like a share. Yeah. That that, that sounds great. But when they get there, they find they Mr. Find... Tabaxi Monk and the the. Snib Snigl blends. <laughs> where where is is Game Master when we need him to pronounce the name of these things? <laughs> okay, so um, let's just put up here that what you just said. Um, the adventurers uh, are sent out of uh, Greymouth Point um, in search of. Potential treasures. Oops, spell that correctly. Uh, along the southern coast of the of Coven, um, near the what is it? Called? It's not swamp, but what is it when it when it's sort of a, like like the Hawaiian Islands? What is that temp? I know it's tropical, but what is that sort of? Uh, um like inlets like see on the map there's right here it's hard to see but um there's that little area kind of hidden behind that larger island and i'm thinking that's where it's going to be so that it's not visible quite from the ocean so no one would have a reason to go in there so um, kind of like kind of like uh like an inlet or uh, yeah a cove Cove, cove would work, inlet yeah. would work, In inlet works fine. Okay, all right, so we'll have to name that. We'll have to ask Chad to help us name that inlet or cove. Come up with a name for that, or, or we, we'll get our fantasy name generator going on it. Yeah, uh, near the blank, uh, cove or cover, nice Sam. or inlet. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so the environment is the old abandoned seaside town. Um... The BBEG, the big evil guy or gal. Are uh, we gonna just have a, a whole herd? herd? Just, a, just, a, clan? just a whole mess of them. A whole clan, okay. Uh, just a big old mess of goblin. Clan of <laughs> Snig. Snig. <laughs> Snig. Gilblins. Gil Gil all right. Clan yeah. of Gilligans. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of funny. That's what we should call them. So the uh, the evil deed that they're doing is Gil they are Gilligans. Fine. Gilligans works so well. It does. It does. Gilliblins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're losing it. That's Just a great. That's a right great. Right down in your huh? <laughs> that's a great. That's a great. I didn't think. I didn't realize. I like. I made it as a joke. Like a bunch of of of. Uh, <laughs> Of Gilligans, but they have Gil. Yeah. Gilliblins. Gilliblins. Hmm. <laughs> but we can't, we've already changed the name twice. We can't change it again. No, 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 no. We keep the name the same. All right. Um, all right. So, although we could make, we could make it uh, have a uh, Snig Gilblin that's. No, we could. Or the clan <laughs> could be called the Gilligans. Or this. Like, that's the group of them. It's a Gilligan. Yeah, that's what that's what the mass Snig noun is. Yeah, yeah, that's what the that's what the mass noun is. Yeah, like a, yeah, 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 like a, a like a murder of crows or yep. genius. Herd of that's buffalo. genius. Yeah. Okay. That's genius. Perfect. Okay. So what have they done? They have discovered. Uh, they've come. Uh, they've come on land, and uh, have taken over the town the abandoned well I'll put abandoned town um and discovered your brewery and you know you want it to be a brewery or a alchemist lab oh although I think, like, 
both the same. Well, they they could be definitely. Um, but and monks don't they aren't they traditionally known for kind of doing the whole brewing thing? Is or is that just World of Warcraft? <laughs> I mean, they could, they, they totally could be known for brewing here too, but like, I was, I would think that like, <gasps> they just came out. Yeah, but here, but they have to discover why, you know, what's worth it to stay on land and take this stuff that, you know, that'll make them more powerful. See the drunken master, way of the drunken master. Remember the, our tabaxi monk is trying to find a way. Yeah, maybe that's why. Maybe that's why that's he went it. there. That's a great idea. And and they found uh, there's an ancient brewery where, you know, there's ancient texts on certain brews, and this is his new way. He's got the way of the drunken master. <laughs> drunken technique, tipsy sway is perfect for a cat. Yeah, I like it. All right, so we'll do that. Okay. Uh, and discovered. Oh. And discovered the ancient brewery um, before he could get there, or he found it uh, at the same time our protagonist found it. Well, you know I'm a big fan of serendipity. Yes. So I think that um, I think that the way it should work is that the adventurers go down here go down to this island not yes. knowing what's here and as they approach they find the ruins of the town it's like oh what luck luck yes so they dock <laughs> okay and as they're going through okay they think like that the, both the tabaxi and this party yeah think that each other are bad guys and okay. so there's this big, okay. there's this big, <laughs> there's this big cat and mouse game oh. that goes on between the monk and the, um, and, and the, uh, uh, party, but then it turns out that they're actually on the same page, or at least neutral, at yeah. least neutral, and they talk their way, they talk it all down, they talk the fight down, Okay. and the tabaxi is like, well, why don't you just stay with me for the night, and in the night, they get attacked by the- Oh, you know, yeah. The Okay. Uh, they and like are... and like maybe some of the Snigglebins are drunk in the attack. <laughs> oh yeah. And and, the and, monk, dro and drop the, the recipe. Monk. Or just the beer, like just the or beer. just drop the brew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then so that's that's the that's the impetus for the Tabaxi gives them the, the new quest of yes. Look, there's no ruins here. You're not gonna find any treasure, but why don't you come help me? Yes. And together we can make me a better person. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. I love it. Um, who uh, drop a cask of the brew? Like, maybe they just, like, reek of beer. Yeah. These, these, these goblins when they come in. Yeah, cask or what's a smaller a flagon? No, they wouldn't drop a flagon. But what would they have on them that they would drop? Like a... Uh... A skin? I mean, like, no, no, no. I think, like, they could totally be, like, four or five of them carrying a oh, entire okay. barrel. And then just, like, once they see the adventurers, it's like, ah, screw it. Just, like, drop it. And then yeah. just go to the back. Okay. Because the... I'm, I'm, I'm kind of picturing these, these aquatic goblins. It's just, like, a shade above feral. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah, I agree. Really clever animals. Yes. So the NPC that might actually help them would be uh, Old Laura Mipsum. I just erased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just erased it to write it again. I'm so I'm so good. <laughs> hey, you gotta stick to you gotta stick to a routine. Uh, yes, exactly. Okay, this is excellent. Let's work out some of the details. We've got all the the uh, part some of the parts written in here. Uh, of course, it doesn't look like it is because it looks like I've just written Laura <laughs> Laura Mipsum twice, which I have. Uh, it is, it is tropical. Not like a rainforest or just like a tropical island. It could be a rainforest. You know, it could be like a total, totally like a rainforest on the island. Yeah. Yeah, I did put a bunch of trees on that island down there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Could... There's no reason. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, I'll do slash rainforest. Okay. And um, so Lorem Ipsum is our tabaxi monk, but what uh, are their fe his features? Oh, wait. He must. Here we go. Um, find the uh, ancient uh, recipe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recipe yeah. to um, complete his way, which is, we'll write here, uh, the drunken, what, what is it called? The drunken monk? Uh, drunken master. Drunken master. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, way of the drunken master. Um, and discovers Southern Veth, which we need to come up with a name. What is this city? What was the city called? It was an old human settlement is all I had on there, but it, it could be, it doesn't have to be human either. Um, well, let's, let's go over to our handy dandy fantasy name oh, generator. let's do that. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. So do we want its name now or do we want the name that it used to be? Because they have a ruins name generator. Ooh, uh, well, it'd be, it would say ruins of, and then that'll be the name. So do that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, do you, is that in, what do you have that, place names? Yeah. All right, I'll go there too, ruins. Ruin names, let's, okay. Let's look for, I'm going to, I'm going to pull up harbor names. Oh, yeah, we you have do, to, oh, you do. come up with a, uh, yes, we have to come up with a, um, inlet or cove name for that. Oh, here's a nice one. What, what, what? So we could call it the ruins of Pine Key Harbor. I like that. I like Pine Key Harbor. Pine yeah. Key. Okay, so it is... Um, do, 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 you, could even, you could even spell it like they spell the... Um, oh, K-I! Uh, <gasps> yeah. Yeah, see, we're thinking. We're thinking the same way. And discovers the ruins of Pine... P-I-N-E-K-I? Uh, yeah. Is that how you were saying? Or well, thinking? I was going to... I was thinking two words, Pine Key, but it doesn't oh, yeah, really no, it works. no wrong way. The ruins of Pine Key Harbor. Harbor. Okay, I like that. Um, yep, I like that a lot. And it's near, and the co, and the and the harbor's called Pine Key as well. Yeah, yeah, I would okay. imagine like that, like just like. The whole town would just be called Pine Key Harbor because it's not like a it's not like a huge town. It can't be. No, no. You know, it's people would have. Probably, just... Yeah, the docks yeah. and then whatever few buildings could be built past it. Yeah. Uh, so... so hey, Anchoku. Hi, Anchoku. Oh boy, here's here comes a bunch of fun names. Uh, okay, so the adventurers set, are sent out of Greymouth Point in search of potential treasures along the southern coast of Covent near. Um, the ruins of Pine Key Harbor. Uh, a do we want to say humanoid settlement or human settlement? I mean, yeah, it would, like at least you know visibly, you know, yeah. at, at this point, there's nobody, but yeah, it used to be abandoned, abandoned, abandoned. <laughs> Human uh, town. Come on. Uh, okay. Hey, hey, Anne. What? Don't tell, don't tell Anne Choku, but I got a mini, I got a mini painted. We were just asking about that Tuesday night. I won't tell him. It'll be a surprise. Okay, so I'm um, potential treasure. Um, but while they're there, they they meet and they think is an enemy, Lorem Ipsum. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Our Tabaxi monk who's level five, but although Tabaxi monks don't they find don't they do their way at level three? Yeah, but like maybe that's why he's level five because he's late. You know like oh, he hasn't done it yet. Sure. That makes complete sense. Alright. And he must find his way. And I'll put way in, in quotes and then I'll work on on uh calling that something else. Um, but it is basically finding the way of the drunken master. He is introspective uh, and, a, and a little standoffish. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it should probably be really hard to, um, to 
talk him down. Talk right. Him the right. But, you know, he's probably outnumbered if we have character levels four to six and he's yeah. just one level five. Um, he is um, searching. He must find the ancient recipe. What is this ancient recipe called? The brew of the. <laughs> See, we've already started way, way, or way. <laughs> Um, some, some sort of stout or, uh, some special brew. We need to come up with that. I don't know if well, let's see our what name the generator, yeah, is. see if let's there's see. A, let's see if there's something there. Other names. Uh, beer. No, no beer. Ale. ale. Uh, Alchemy ingredients. That'd be kind of uh, ale. Drink. Let's Look see here. Drink. Uh, is food. there drink? Drink names. Drink names. Clicking Perfect. on the drink names. Um, let's see here. I don't like any of these. Cider striker. That's hard to say. Ultimate ball. <laughs> um, Java jam. That might not be a bad one. Uh, but it doesn't really say beer to me. All right, come on. Bo boiled tempest. <laughs> I like boiled tempest. Uh, 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 Elven clear. I like Elven clear, but this. Th <laughs> but think them. Um, <laughs> Think tabaxi, which is like feline. Think cat-like something. We're kind of going with a feline tabaxi monk as the protagonist. Oh, what if the brewing ingredients include catnip? But like, what's oh. catnip's real? Oh, it's um, what is it called? You you search uh... that. I like the name Duchess. That's kind of a cool name. Something Duchess. The <laughs> Winded Duchess. The Winded Duchess. The Winded Winded Duchess sounds cool. Should we put that? Here. I'll put that as a as a maybe. Two, uh, four. The winded. We'll change it, I'm sure. But I'll okay. Like so the actual name for catnip is Eat. called Nepetia cataria. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, and maybe the special ingredient for that uh, occurs on this island only. Yes, Nepeta okay. cataria. All Sorry, right. I Can you put that in? Yeah. in uh, the chat so our viewers can see it and then I can copy and paste it onto this. <laughs> Milk, catnip, and honey. That's funny. Yeah. I love this. This is awesome. Alright, I'm copying. Okay, this is the um, one of the uh, rare ingredients found on uh, pine key. Okay. Nep Nepeta Kataria. Perfect. Now I'll put in Paran's catnip. So the DM. I'll make a little note for the DM. I love it. Okay, so that's why it's been brewed here. <laughs> Peta cat. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's let's describe our Laura Mipsum. What does he look uh, like? What uh, color fur does he have? Let's let's I look wonder... up Tabaxi um, on the old interwebs here and see. Let's just Google uh, images of a Tabaxi. <laughs> I like the idea of Grumpy Cat as a Tabaxi character. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. Uh, let me put here. monk so that gives us a little more. I see lots of I see lots of cheetahs. That that seems overdone though. Lots and that, of like tigers. that's like a rock seems... rakshasa. And I don't want to do that. Yeah, that seems overdone. I like the gray down here. I'm not a I'm not opposed to a big old Maine Coon. You know, like just like a ton of fur and like a big huge fluffy tail. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I don't think I don't think any of like I feel like it should be like a house cat type of cat, not um, like a calico. Not, yeah, like I like a calico or like a like a <gasps> tomcat. Maybe or... since calicos are traditionally kind of rare, maybe that's why it's taken him so long to um, choose his way because he was teased so much as a child, he was kind of left behind, like yeah. like Rudolph. Yeah, absolutely could okay. be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, was... I don't know why, but I always get, I get the feeling like this cat should not be like a wild cat. It should be like a house cat. Yeah, very uh, timid and you know, not as uh. Well, no, not just that, but like, but like 
didn't get out much. Like, it hasn't seen the world a lot. You know, like, oh, that's right. why it's One that's like, like an indoor cat versus an outdoor cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, like, not like a tiger or a leopard or a panther or a puma or a bobcat right. or something like that. Like a, like a, um, main, like, what did you say? Gosh, uh, the, the calico. There calico, it is. That's the yeah. word. So, Those are the words my brain needs to use. Browns, whites, oranges, gray furs, orange, gray, brown, white. Alpha beige, I went for white. Ah! Can't see that. Uh, brown, beige, orange, gray, etc. Colored fur. Uh, what color eyes? Like the Kung Green. Fu Panda. <laughs> a chonker. Green. Oh yeah, he could be kind of... I like the, uh, the idea he's, that he's a little heavy for a... I really do too. Yeah. Uh, he's a chonker. <laughs> <laughs> and he has green eyes. I think I think green. I like yeah. the idea of green. Yeah. Um. Or maybe he could even be um. What is it where they have one green, like one color, like one black and one orange eye? Sure. Uh, we could do a green and blue. Yeah. What is that called? Two color. I don't know. That's a that's 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 a word beyond me right now. Polychromatic. Thank you, Anchoku. Uh, heterochromia. Eyes are uh, green. <laughs> I'm not writing that. <laughs> uh, what is his? Does he have? Uh, does do his, Does he have an overbite, an underbite, long whiskers, no whiskers? Uh, I feel like he would have, he would have long whiskers, but like no overbite, no overbite or under. Okay. Uh, does he have like a beard, like a chin beard type of thing? Like a long kind oh, of yeah, bit like, of yeah, like uh, like some coming down, yeah, because he's a, he's kind of like a chonker, so maybe he's let himself go a little bit. Doesn't sure. keep his fur like of, uh, perfectly. Uh, I'll just put a chip, truth, and droopy whiskers. And Chunker, <laughs> why do you hate this monk so much? <laughs> a patch of uh, long fur at his uh, chin. Um, what else? Let's give him a, um, let's give him a fear. I mean, I, let's not do the obvious, like water. What other kind of fear Aww. could there be? I know. Uh, do you know? Something that obviously is found on the island, which maybe has, was his hesitation to coming out this way. Yeah, what if it's like the town is what he's afraid of you know like like civilization like i don't know how civilized the place he came from was yeah. um it, it's a treetop I, I have it in my head i just haven't gotten it on paper but it's basically imagine um where the ewoks live you know everything's connected by bridges yeah yeah, yeah. in the okay. treetops and then kind of a swampy area below um because there's because Tabaxi are tend to be more dexterous and they can kind of get around. Yeah, so that maybe way. like, maybe like the the civilized nature of where he is kind of scares him a little bit. You know, like it's not even a big city, and yeah. he's just like nervous because he can't see everything. And you know, like it's it's he's he's afraid of the civilization itself, like the the buildings. Like maybe okay. he sees them all as haunted. Well, that, I was just gonna say, why don't we make him afraid of ghosts or or spirits? Because, um, yeah. and that's why he doesn't really want to go into, he knows that he believes the brewery is, is around here somewhere, but he's afraid to go into the village by himself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like maybe, and maybe he's actually like, oh, I'm a terrible dumb He's a Freddy a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You like that. You liked that a lot. I think I like that too much. You really like that. Okay, so uh, it, it's perfect for our Gilligan, right? Yeah. So um, environment we got, protagonists we got, summary we got, BFGs we got. Like we did them, and we did them last. Last. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 So what's next? What's after BFG? Um, the evil we deed got, is that evil deed. And what? What is it? They basically have discovered these evil. Well, they they discovered it first, but you know. He needs yeah, it. but they're like they're just they're just drinking it. Like 
the tabaxi. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, oh, I could totally use this to make to finally the, get my way. And and then and make the world better. Whereas these guys are just drinking it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um. And, there aren't really uh, any other NPCs. And they won't share. Yeah. No. This is this is pretty much it. This is a our... nice, this is nice small one shot. Yeah. Yeah. If we can just pronounce Snig Gilblins, we're 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 ready. Gilblins. Snig Gilblins. Yeah, this is this is great. I will uh oh twist. Do we have a second twist? Um I don't really know. Do we no. need a second twist? Oh, um, we need one. Not really. Yeah. We did just to just to recap real quick, because um I'll close that down. You yeah. know, Go ahead. You know what? You know what could actually get the adventurers on side with the um Ooh, with yeah. the monk. How? Is that in the middle of their fight, that's when the goblins attack. <gasps> yes. Yeah. yeah. And they're over way, and they're overcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That um, way like if, if like they, they could try talking to the monk, like, look, these 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 are way worse. Let's 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 combine our efforts. And that would make the diplomacy a little. Yeah, and it could be that the that the monk says, "Yeah, these are the creatures that wouldn't let me into the town." So he doesn't like them anyway. He has seen them from yeah. afar, like he's from. Yeah, the... yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like I haven't played a ton of D and D. I mean, I've played a lot, but I don't consider myself to be a definitive expert on D and D. But if there's one thing I know, it's to give players the option to fight or diplom a diplos di diplomaticize a situation. Is that a word? And uh. No, it's word now. It's a word now. And and they will they will absolutely just fight their way through sure. every talking Yeah. Absolutely. Like, Murder hobo it. Right? Yes. Yes, they will so, always murder hobo. So before we before we end tonight, uh we've got one of the ingredients, Nepita Kataria, uh for win if we're gonna call it Winded Duchess. I like Duchess yeah. simply because it's, um, you know, remember the cat in... Um, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Wasn't her name Duchess? Yeah. yeah. Aristocrats, I think. Yes, that's what I was trying to come up with. Does the monk have any special equipment? I don't know. But let's look at our... Uh, I'll, I'll create the monk in, in D&D Beyond, but here's here's the creation for the Snig Gilblin. This is what we created two weeks ago. Or however many weeks ago we met. I can't remember, it's been so long. Um... He, last December. He has a yeah, it was in last December. Uh, he has a barbed. They have barbed nets, which we created. It's it's a new um, weapon. Um, they attack with scimitar. They uh, they have a very imperialistic view of themselves, and they refer to each other as emperor. So each one yeah, would have a name. Like everybody's emperor. Everybody's. An, they they can speak common. I don't know why we've got common goblin. Co common goblin in there twice but we do uh, i'll have to change that and uh they have a gr they have they're small and they have a great speed and swim walking well, and like, swim speed yeah well like common is when they're sober <laughs> is when they're completely drunk and goblin common is when they're making their way into <sighs> inebriation you know like they mix like they mix the two together that's you it. know like like spanglish or or you know exactly like, like, yeah. yeah yeah i have a friend who speaks arabic French and English, and sometimes uses a word from every language in the same sentence. And I teased her one time. I said, "I can't even watch you write. It's like you use letters and numbers." <laughs> she does. It was it was crazy. Um, okay, great. We've we've done it in an hour, Joe. In perfect timing. Here comes Chief. Chief. Oh, you guys, thank you so much. Well, we got. Let's catch we have five minutes. Let's good. catch them up on what's going on. So we decided to make this, the rest of that we started this two weeks ago. We started to finish it up um, as a level four to six one shot because I realized that we had a lot of one to three level character level one shots and some seven nine, but nothing in the middle. So I wanted something for character levels four to six. So we decided to make our our adventure for level four to six uh, <laughs> characters. Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> wow thank you thanks so much for the raid um so we i i jokingly had um a blank template here at the beginning and i filled in all the words so that i wouldn't lose my formatting with lorem ipsum because that's what you do when you're 
uh, a paralegal so <laughs> and a writer so um jokingly joe suggested that's what we name our protagonist so now we have a tabaxi monk uh named lorem ipsum who is from the nearby let me scroll up the nearby uh not nearby it's kind of adjacent area called tranquil of real and it's a tabaxi monk area located right there uh, beyond the taman estuary and he is trying to find his way and of course monks do ways when they hit level three but he's a little late on his way and he's going for the way of the drunken master so he he finds out that he needs to go visit this village that we've named collectively the uh, pine key harbor and a key of course is spelled like a monk key <laughs> monk key <laughs> so funny and it is located on this little island right here in the southern area of Veth, which is a goblin area. Well, he arrives there just in time to find um, this abandoned town that he believes that he could find this, this recipe for a brew called the Winded Duchess uh, to, to complete his, we're gonna call it an Aramente, but that's basically the, the critical role version of what I'm talking about, the way. And um, once he discovers that, he can finish his training and go on and become way of the drunken master but in the meantime these horrible horrible goblinoid creatures from the sea which we created two weeks ago called what is it called joe the gilblins Snig-gil-blins. and what is a group of sneak gilblins called they're called a uh, gilligan of uh, sniggle <laughs> No one can say that correctly. <laughs> I can't even say it correctly. I can say it correctly if I say it really, really, really slow. slow. <laughs> a Gilligan of Sniggilblins have taken over the town of Pine Key Harbor. And they have found the recipe or, or a stash of the brew, uh, this Winded Duchess. And uh, while our adventurers are meeting up with Laura Mipsum, they attack these sniggiblins and they're these kind of vicious actually they have a 50 uh, foot walk and swim speed and they have a they're challenge rating two and they have um a weapon called a barbed net which we homebrewed out of a net and it's pretty a it's a 515 range attack the, the hit is um it's only four slashing damage but uh if they become entangled they be, uh, if they if it hits they become grappled and they'll need a strength check to get out. Anyone entering uh, the area that the barb net falls on the sand or the water, they take a bunch of damage, 1d8s, it's, it's, it's a mess. Um, and so they had to defeat these Gilligan of Snigelblins on the island of Pine Key Harbor. Let me get back to my story. We never really did figure out how many in the group, but I think it should be north of 10. Like, I, like it should like probably dozen? be north of 15. Like, it should be a lot like a like a lot a lot that, it'll yeah be fun. okay so the tabaxi drunken master ends every sentence with meow meow <laughs> meow oh huh i get it <laughs> uh you think 20 two dozen that's a lot well maybe like 15 in oh, this group there's gonna it- be more isn't there somewhere a I think it's on D&D Beyond. Hang on, I can find it. I can find it cuz I can find stuff on D&D Beyond. It is you go up to uh game rules? No. Sources? No. Okay. Tools. And you go to combat oh. tracker. Okay. Or encounter builder. Encounter builder. And you type in uh let's do our Snig Snig Gil Blin, okay, and we want to add how many of them? <laughs> Let's see, <laughs> one, two, three, four. Oh, I'll just add them this way. Twenty. Uh, we're only. Hold on, I gotta subtract these because I'm not gonna. I don't want to add twenty of those. Okay, so we got twenty of them, and then um. Is it is it a good thing or a bad thing when the gauge is blinking red? And it's kind of deadly right now, but let's let's go into the uh, manage the characters. We've got uh, one. See, this is what I had preset for our group. So we have four level five characters, no level sixes. 
All right, four level five characters. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's pretty deadly. <laughs> so uh, maybe we should reduce that until it gets yeah. Maybe we until it gets it... below blinking. <laughs> yeah. What are we? What are we at? What are we finally get down? I think it's really less than. Why is it still blinking? Seriously? Oh, there we go. Okay. So four would be difficult. Really? Well, let's let's then let's make it at least six. Let's make it hard because they're gonna have the monk to help them. And oh yeah, okay. So if we're gonna add the monk, so we go in here, six. add a first level or uh, one level five monk. Okay. So there. So now we've got five, six is still hard, and seven is deadly. Yeah, let's do yeah, seven. Let's seven? make it deadly. Right, yeah, right, right. no, no risk, no gain. Right, well, and the DM can decide if they want to take that down a notch if they want. All right. Yeah, absolutely. So, but isn't that a handy um, feature? That on is there? very nice. I didn't know that was there. You can go I in. I still and... need to um, get my my um, D and D yeah. Beyond all all up to speed. Yeah. Because I because most I of my stuff's all on roll twenty. Yeah, I love I love this, and like I said, I have the master level, which thank you to my patrons for uh, supporting that. It helps D and D with the Banana Brothers, and I can add these encounters and see I can throw deadly stuff at my players. It's awesome. I love it. So we're gonna put seven of them at the at the DM. Seven is considered <laughs> a deadly encounter. There we go. I love it. So we've got um, our BBGs. We've got uh, the evil deed, which is really not evil. They just, you know, they just taking over this town that that the that our Tabaxi monk needs. And this is awesome. Thank you so much, Joe. Wait. That was fun. Did they get stranded on an island? Yeah, get it, get it. Yeah, yeah. get it. I got it. No, they, they were set, out there they for a three hour, three it was hour, a three hour tour. tour. Yeah. So who are we gonna raid? Yeah, we gotta raid somebody. Let's uh, let's pick. Let me go to the thank you screen over here. And, uh, boop. Chat's still there, so don't worry. And we're still, we're still talking with you. We're still here. So whom shall we raid? I see, uh, oh, Cell. Okay, Cell works. Yeah. We'll go raid Cell. Raid, what is, what is Cell doing? What is Hugh? Uh, uh my teacher in high school? <laughs> There we go. All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. And um, don't forget to do a Mimsy dab. And next week on D&D &D with the Banner Brothers, we should have... Oh, thank you. Thank you, Enchoku. Nice. Uh, we should have uh, Rylan back playing um, our currently unconscious Milan. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you then. So thanks, everybody. And Joe, Bye. thanks so much. Bye. Bye, everybody. You're welcome.